Hey, John Mayfield, the business tech guy, also known as the real estate tech guy. I'm in real estate, so I do both help people out. And I've been using Go High Level, and I told you I was going to do some videos on how to use Go High Level. And when I run into some issues or problems, I want to be able to fix those for you. So um, you can see on my website, let me get this out of the way always something there that you need to check on in advance but you can see on my website I actually have no header so I'm gonna open up a new tab here and we will go to easy so uh, everything's functioning very well here on my site I've got my little pop-up box which I really like and I'll do a session on you know how you can add your video and some different things here um, everything's functioning good when I go to the different links here uh, if we go to the blog here's where I've had some problems so it populates over here and I think I have it fixed if not don't panic I'm gonna pause the video and we're gonna keep working on it but um, what's been happening is I'm going to go back over here to uh, this right here. Let's see. I had it up a minute ago. There it is, right here. Um, this is not like when you click on when you click on this link, it's been taking you. To this page and so I just called go high level it's kind of funny like immediately I knew the person I was talking to was not going to have the answer because I sometimes feel like I know more than some of the tech support but many of the tech support folks are really good and this guy was very nice they're all so friendly and nice but I just kind of knew within the first 20 seconds he really didn't know what was going on and, and I don't know what's going on but I kept telling him Look, if somebody's on my website, I want them to be able to go back to another page. I don't want them just to be here. The only way you can get back to my website is clicking the back button. So I think maybe I've solved the problem. We'll find out. And again, this may not work. But now when you click that, it does not bring that up. So I need to find out. Maybe I didn't publish this, so we're going to go back over here. This, what I thought was the problem, is right here. This part here was not... Um, it, this was checked like that, and, and I, th I thought that was the problem. So I had to add my global heading in here. So I'm going to click Save, and I'm going to republish this. I had this same problem at the bottom. And so basically what I had to do, just so everybody will know, is these. this was not here. And so what I had to do was add a, a column, a section, a, col a row, and then I had to go into the section templates and I had to drag this heading up here. Well, that's when I would drag that up there. This was checked. These were clear, the bottom and the top. And I thought, well, I just dragged, the, I dragged that section up there that I saved from my website. Why is that not showing up? So uh, now that I made that black, I thought that would have, I thought that would have worked. So if we preview this, now it's showing up. Okay, if you want to read that article though, now it's gone. So let's go back here and see why that full article is not there. So we got this solved. I need to make sure I'm in the blog section and I, I was in edit blog site that's where we added that okay that's okay I because I'd like to show you how I 
comp achieve this. So now if I go into the actual blog, it's not there for so for some reason it's not this is opening up separately so I'm gonna pause the video I'm getting close and I'll bring you back and show you you know because the question is why is this this needs to open up inside the website I hope that makes sense and so somehow I got to figure out why this is not opening up inside because this should open up inside the actual website and blog. So I'm going to pause my video, take a quick look. I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I have it figured out. Uh, still a little bit more testing to do, but you know, as I showed you earlier, it was kind of weird because things weren't, um, the blog wasn't showing up inside my website and it's still not physically showing up inside the website, but there is kind of a workaround for this. So when you go into blogs, this is how the only way I've figured out to do this. Of course, I set up my new blog. Here it is right here and you can have multiple blogs. So this is this is the the blog and this is a blog post I did okay so right up here I'm gonna turn over here you can see edit blog okay if we want to do a new post inside this blog we will do that shortly um, but I'm going to select edit blog now what I actually had to do was this is the blog home was I brought in the menu and the footer because I saved those as a global section. However, every time I would go to the post, nothing was changing. And so it's kind of weird because when I go to easy sales meetings, you can see if I go to the blog, it already, because I have this page set up over on my website in Go High Level. And so basically, I just added an element here. I'm going to go back over there so you can see. Uh, we'll go back over to websites and into easy sales meetings. And I just have a, a, the blog site set up here. So this is an element. You can see it, it's you know the same if you just added an element and you just add the blog post. I don't know why they don't have like a blog post or something to update it here but anyway so that's set up here on my website now we're gonna go back over to the blog section and go back into our blog because again you can have multiple blogs inside go high level and these are posts I only have one post there so I go up here and I select edit blog site now really this home page doesn't really matter because it's showing up over on my website but if we go right up here and over on the side this is the blog post now notice this is not the blog I wrote this is just a template but here what I did was I added this new section and then from the plus button I went into my global sections and I just slid the header up here and I did the same thing down here I just created a new section and when I went to add the the element I went to my global sections because I had saved these over from my website and I drug the footer down below I probably should swap those around but anyway now I will tell you this I did have to go in when you click on this over on the right you have all the menu items I did have to go in and I did have to you can't link those to a page like you can over in the website so I just linked them to an to a URL and I just took the URL for each of my uh, my pages I do need to fix the contact us because it was I had to fix those over there so they all signed lined up correctly and I had to do the same thing down here had to uh, make these 
Um, when you click on them, where's it at? There it is. Link to, I just clicked link to URL and, and same thing. Now, I couldn't get a form here for some reason. It says link to, well, if I try to open pop-up, let me go back to this. If I tried clicking open pop-up and I went over here to pop-up settings, for some reason, the forms don't show up over here, which I, you can find them everywhere else. I don't know if that's a glitch or what, but there's no way to add a form for the pop-up. So what I did was I just said, well, let's just go to a URL. And so I have a funnel that actually pushes this same free book called Recruit, Train, Retain Better a dot easy sales meetings dot com just a subdomain and I have a funnel tied to that so I thought well I'll just do that here and so let me show you I'm gonna save this and publish it and and then I need to come over here and add some stuff for the, for this page it's actually my blog post should do most of that anyway so we go to easy sales meetings just gonna go back to the home button here and let's go to the blog and now when I select this it will take me to the blog post I wrote along with my header and footer now I could I tried and this is just my own personal and I need to fix that which that's okay um, this is just my own personal preference I'm gonna go to pop-up settings here and it's probably got something about popping up on let's try that again I don't really need anything there so now hopefully that won't happen anymore okay so so um, what I wanted to mention to you was so well this is the, the blog article here I prefer just for the folks reading the blog not to have a bunch of stuff going on in the background that's just my personal preference but notice if the menu bar is all right there so it can take them right back here this takes them to uh, the blog so if we click on this it'll take them over here but now if they want to you know say well what was on the 21 mistakes at least they're coming right back into my website I could as a personal preference just so you'll again know I'm over here I'm, I'm just editing my blog so I'm over here on the blog post you could as I min mentioned here, I could highlight this and I could add a, you know, some kind of a photo if I wanted to in the back. But I just think that's going to be hard to read. So I'm just going to leave it alone and leave it white. I might, you know, I, I could try a lighter gray like that just to give it some. that's not too bad but I don't know it, it might it might look better and then I could come down here I think there is a I didn't know if I could reduce the but maybe that's just so I may try the gray there and just leave that and publish it so let's go back over and take a look at it and see what you think so now I'm going to go to the blog and select the blog and so you know it doesn't look too bad with the darker with the darker text but I think and I'm going to probably change my to make that shorter I think I'm going to make that um, 
little bit lighter. I think that's my, my preference. So I'm going to just go back over here, select white, save it, and publish it. So for one last time to show you how I did that is uh, I basically went, my blog was set up, Easy Sales Meetings. From here, I just selected Edit Blog Site. And the key was I had to get into that page. And right here, you do the drop, do the arrow. And so I went into Blog Post over on this side. And that's where I added my menu at the top and the bottom and made sure all the links worked. I did a little work around for the free book, but at least it, at least they're all, you know, they're inside the website, or at least they can still, I'm not taking them outside to just a blank white page. I hope that makes sense, and I hope this was helpful. Subscribe and like it, and tell me what you think. Have a great day.